Hello guys, this is Fort Defender, and welcome back to yet another Pokemon video. Today, we're going to be doing a video that I've been meaning to do for over a year. So, yeah, let's just jump right in. In today's video, we're going to be going over all the Pokemon with different forms, not including regional variants, GMAX, uh, Megas, any of that. We're just going to be going over the ones that are in their own line, they had a different form when they're introduced. Um, I think it makes it a lot more simple. Is that they had a different form when they're introduced. Uh, but I guess that doesn't apply to some of these on this list. But uh, I'm going to try here, guys, to clean up all the ones that I forgot in part one. Uh, so to start things off, guys, we're going to start with Pikachu. And Pikachu has many different forms. And that's because Pikachu's been given a hat variant uh, for all the different regions wearing one of Ash's hats. I'll have a picture up of all the different Pikachus. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna start off our list. Next up on this list is gonna be Ditto, because technically Ditto has a special form of every Pokemon uh, that it can copy, in my opinion. Uh, so I would think that Ditto deserves a spot here with different forms, because it technically has a form of every single Pokemon when it transforms into them. Next on this list is gonna be Unknown, and that's because Unknown has a bunch of different letters uh, that I would consider each form of Unknown. Uh, so you got all the letters and then you got punctuation so I consider unknown to also be one with different forms. Next up on this list is Deoxys and I can't believe I missed it before but this mythical has four different forms where you can transform between them and the mechanics in the original games are kind of shaky with how it worked with transferring but it does have four different forms so I can't believe I forgot it and it deserves to be on this list. Next on this list is another uh, what's gonna be a legendary Pokemon that I can't believe I forgot again. Uh, Giratina has two different forms. One where it has the origin form and one where it has the altered form. Can't believe I forgot this. This is one of the most like known uh, legendaries with different forms. So my bad. It's also my favorite. I don't know what I was thinking. Also in part one I did forget to mention Shaman who has two forms here. I'll have a picture up and you can see them. And yes, two different forms here. Next on this list is going to be Arceus, and that's because Arceus has many different uh, forms that it can turn into by changing type. And I got Savali before, um, yeah, I don't know why I missed Arceus, but that's one I wanted to cover that I missed in part one. Another one that I forgot that has different forms is Deerling and Sawsbuck, and they have four different forms each for the different seasons that were introduced in Unova, so they have Spring, Summer, Fall and Winter is their different forms, and I'll have pictures up of those. Also, another Pokemon that's less commonly known to have different forms is Keldeo, and I'll have both those pictures up already, but it does have a normal form and then a resolute form. Next on this list is an iffy one, if it should fall into it or not, but Greninja has its normal form and then the Ash Greninja form. I don't count it as a separate Pokemon, so I would count it as a different form. Next on this list is going to be a Vavillion, and it has a ton of different patterns. There's no way I can list them all, so I'm just going to put a picture up and you can see that um, for the different forms of Vavillion. Next up on this list is going to be the Flabebe line, and that's because it has multiple different flower colors throughout its entire line that results in many different forms for this line. Next up on this list is Furfru, and that's because you can have many different trims with many different designs, and because it's the same Pokemon, I'm considered to be different forms. Next up on this list is Exernius and Yavaltal. Uh, I think. If you know the reference, let me know. Uh, but yes, both of these have a neutral form and then like an attack form, uh, and con there's considered different forms, so I think it counts here. <laughs> Another one is Magirna, and this is a newer one because if you completed your full Pokédex in home, you got an original color form, Magirna, which is like a golden red color. So, I don't think it's shiny, so I consider it a different form of Magirna. Also on this list from Gen 8 is going to be SQ, and that is because it it has a noise nice. face. No, I'm joking. It's no ice, and then an ice face, which are two different forms. Another newer one that was left out in part one is Urshifu, and that's because Urshifu has a fighting in a water form that it can be, uh, depending on where you took Kubfu when you play through. But yes, this is a newer one I wanted to cover. And to end things off, we're gonna end with Calyrex, and that's because Calyrex is it can be by itself or it can be with its steed, which is 
two different forms. So overall, it would have three different forms. And uh, yes, that is the last one I wanted to cover. Some of the other ones, I don't think they really count as forms. I think I finally covered all of them. And after a year, I think I finally finished making this video series. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments uh, what was your favorite one in this video. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.